remembrance of things past. <laughs> On the road, the back road, the old road. No schedule to keep, no one to answer to. Stop when I please, meet anyone I please, be anyone I please. Hello? We've got customers. Doris, I'm sick of them. Mm. Could be truckers. That was a woman hollering. Uh, lady truckers tip good, didn't you say that? Then you go take care of her. You want to work, don't you? Isn't that what you said when you walked here in here on Monday? But you haven't done a lick since. I don't do breakfast. Besides, how would it look if I were to walk out there like this? Pretty good. But you're right. If Mama heard, she'd fire my butt. Or try to steal you for herself. <laughs> Morning. Sorry to keep you waiting. I was taking inventory and back. What can I get you? Uh, a breakfast. I would like two push steaks and whole wheat toast and coffee. What that girl needs worse than anything is cable. I hope you have fun on your vacation. Thanks. How'd you know I'm a tourist? Oh. <laughs> Listen, do you know any way I can avoid that highway going west? I'd much rather take a, a little old road, but I can't seem to find it on the map. Yeah, all you have to do is head out here and take a left. You can follow the traffic. Oh, and don't worry if you don't see any signs. There ain't any for about 12 miles. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Okay. How's it going, D? Pretty good, Carl. Coffee light, no sugar? Wish I could. No time. Uh, thanks to the troopers over in Ohio, they got us looking for someone. Last scene headed this way. Is he a serial killer or something? Just what we need around here to bring in some more business. Can you have him stop by? Well, I was wondering if he already had. Are you serious? Yeah, he was spotted hitchhiking uh, just down the road over in Weedsport. We figure he's trying to make his way to California. You haven't seen him, have you? Okay. You recognize him? Uh-uh. I haven't seen him. Nobody's been coming around here looking to go to California. What do the Ohio police want with them anyway? What's that I hear in your back room, a TV? Yeah, Mom and I keep a little bed back there for whoever works nights. I must, I was taking a nap when the last lady came in. I must have forgotten to turn it off. Really? Now, I don't think I've ever seen your back room. you mind if I take a look? No, wait, there's nobody in there. Sunset Resort in San Juan is now open. The sunset comes to you. See? Wide sandy beach, sunny skies year round. Especially not now. No. Oh, excuse me. Lillian. Hello, Helen. You're looking particularly lovely this evening. Oh, well, thank you. And uh, your friend? Oh, this is Annie Dutton, our new nurse. This is Alan Spaulding, Annie. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to Springfield. Well, it's nice to meet you, too, Mr. Spaulding. Spaulding, as in the Spaulding Foundation? Oh, that's right. Oh, you do such wonderful things for the hospital. You must be on the board of uh, directors, right? Well, not at the <laughs> present. Would you mind terribly, Miss Dutton, if I uh, stole Miss Rains away for a moment? <laughs> well, thank you.
Well, here we are again. That time of year when all the uh, good citizens of Springfield pull out their checkbooks and pat themselves on the back for all of their good deeds. Well, at least they do, sir. Excuse me. Um, you're right. Um, I didn't mean for anybody to hear that. No, no, no problem. Um, I hope the rest of your night goes better than it must have been. <laughs> I'll try a year. So, the uh, very first recipient of the Edward Bauer Fellowship goes to a woman from Chicago General, and her name is Annie Dutton. That's you. Congratulations. I'm sure you'll be fine. Thank you very much. Uh, this is just <laughs> amazing. Uh, I never thought in the world that I'd ever win this uh, fellowship. I, uh, <clears throat> I really wanted to come here, and finally I got all that paperwork done. And, <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure I, I, I deserve this, but I, I swear I will work very, very hard in the months to come. Thank you. from the surgical team. When we get really starved, we can dive into that. Wonderful. This is just what I want, just the three of us. Me you, too. me, Michelle. I don't want to get, want to get dressed today. <laughs> oh, please go. No, don't answer. Don't answer it. It's Christmas. Well, hide. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Dr. Bauer. Annie. <sighs> Uh, I hope I'm not intruding or anything. I, um, I had a little gift for you, so I thought I'd stop by and give it to you. Here. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, <No>, thanks. <laughs> Come on in. Uh, and Merry Christmas to you. Oh. Uh, can, can we, uh, Han? Oh, hi. 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 Uh, can we get you something? Oh, no, no, no. I, I just stopped by. You're, you're probably getting ready for guests and stuff. Uh, do you have some place to go today? Uh, no. Oh, but that's okay. Uh, that's not okay. You can spend Christmas here. That would be... Great. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I really, I... No, come on. We were just, we were just saying the, the second before the doorbell rang. Literally. We were hoping that someone was going to drop by. Out of our right? mouths. Could you just hang on to this? Oh, this morning, sure, Ed. Though, okay? Thanks. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello? Don't put this back. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Okay, here's Dad. Hey, Rick, how are you? Merry Christmas. Yeah, we got it. It's nice. It's cool. Did you get our stuff? Oh, that's great. <laughs> Annie, uh, as a matter of fact, she's here. No, I mean, she's here. She's here as in, in the house. She's here. Well, I don't know. She just stopped by. We said, you want to spend the day, and uh, she did. No, she seems very nice. Thank you for recommending her to Cedars. Yeah. So who's coming over? What are you doing? Yeah? Are you going to go someplace or just hang out there? What are you eating? No, I mean, what are you
Josh Lewis. Are you allergic to any medicine? No, none that I know of. Where are you having pain, sir? Well, my leg is broken. Anything else? What's the matter? A broken leg isn't enough for you? Where were you injured, sir? Listen, Palmer, listen, this, this is absurd. Why, why are you asking me a question like that? I mean, my leg is broken. Obviously, I didn't listen, slip in the shower. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just been a long night. You know, yeah, I'm on no automatic pilot or it. something. <sighs> Hey, don't, don't I know you? You were that, that grouch at the hospital the benefit. Grouch? No, no, I don't mean no, 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 I you're right. Yes, I was the grouch at the hospital benefit. You're Nurse, nurse Dutton, right? I'm beginning to think that maybe this is some kind of punishment, you know, because I was such then, a Mr. Grouch. Lewis, we're processing you as quickly Processing me? Processing me like you would process cheese? Listen, do you think you might be able to process me a couple of painkillers? Only doctors can prescribe that medication. Really? Well, that seems to be a problem then, because there aren't really any doctors available, you know? I mean, could you just give me an idea of how long it might take? Just, just a ballpark figure would be really nice. Well, you need x-rays, and the x-ray department is pretty backed up okay. right now. Okay, the problem is I think I might pass out of this. You know, there are other techniques to dealing with pain that don't involve drugs. Really? This, um, you're not you're not helping me out a whole lot, so why don't you just go find somebody else to process? Listen, I'm not done with your assessment, Mr. My assessment? Luke. <laughs> How did you break your leg? <laughs> or did someone do it for you? Were you your usual cheery self with no, the fire? No, no, ac actually I did it all by myself. I was going along having one of those days where I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with the rest of my life. I fell down and the thing just snapped. Can you believe it? How existential. Existential? Oh, yes. multisyllabic words well, now, thank huh? you. I went what to are college. you thinking like Jean-Paul Sartre had something Listen. to do with my broken leg Listen. here? Oh, very long night. Sorry, Chuck. Hi. You were incredible. How are you doing? I'm, I'm fine, thank you. Thank you. Just, just doing dandy. Is it still raining outside? Oh, yeah, it's still coming down. We're praying Good. it'll continue. Um, listen, you haven't seen Sidney Dickerson no. around anywhere. Oh. No, I haven't been looking for him. Though. Why, did he get hurt or something? Um, I, well, I, I hope not. I just lost track of him a few hours ago. <laughs> have, you, have you been seen yet? No, no, but I have been processed. Listen, my father is a doctor in this hospital. <laughs> I will try and get no, him. No, no, no. Julie, really, I don't want any special treatment. I appreciate it, but it's no, fine. Thank no, you no, very no, much. No, 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 You deserve Easy. that. You Easy, deserve yeah, right? special treatment. <laughs> what you did, leaping from one rooftop to another carrying a small child? <laughs> you deserve this. This was incredible. Yeah, well, desperation can be a tremendous motivator. You know what I'm saying? Could you go a little easier, please? When you are feeling better, I hope you'll give me an interview with WCR. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> You already got the whole thing on TV, right? I mean, you don't really need an interview from me. Well, I think it, that it will go over much better if it comes to your own words. I'm going to go get my father. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Listen, since you put it that way, it's fine. I'll do whatever you want. Just, just go away. <laughs> no, but don't believe me. You are a true hero. Yeah, and there aren't whatever. any of those left. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh. Ray, the pillow. Yeah. Terrific. Who did you have to bribe to get that? Oh, nobody just traded my blanket. <laughs> oh, Nurse Diesel is back. What's up, huh? Dr. Guthrie is looking over your x-rays and she's okay some pain medication. But you can only take a couple sips of water with it. Well, you have absolutely made my day. Thank you. Thank you, really. Josh, uh, we're going to get you into OR now to repair that fracture. All right, let's get rolling. All right. The whole procedure shouldn't take very long. Nurse uh, Dutton will prep you. Um, Lucy, could you excuse us for once? I want to talk to her. Can you take that? Uh, sure. <clears throat> these uh, these gloves are making me a little nervous. What what exactly does prep mean in my case? Well, it means, Mr. Willis, that we put you in a full surgical gown and we shave your entire leg. You're gonna shave my leg. Don't, don't they have uh, male orderlies or big, giant, ugly women to do that? Well, as you can see, the staff is a little overwhelmed right now. Sometimes even heroes have to take what they can get. 